what is going on everybody nico back for another pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet video so the games are out in the wild i made a psa warning the other day saying that the games were leaked and if you didn't want any spoilers to stay off the internet but because the games have been officially leaked i am able to provide information based on verified sources that already have copies of the game which version exclusives there are so that way you guys can officially make a decision on what games you personally want to pick up maybe you want to buy both maybe the pokemon that are in each version is going to influence what decision you make when you go to GameStop, Walmart, wherever you go to buy your games. So today I'm going to be talking about the version exclusives and I am going to be also going into a little bit of leak content because these have not been officially revealed outside of Great Tusk and Iron Treads, but I want to talk about them because I do think they could potentially influence your decision and I want you to be well informed before you go and buy these games. Now, I will not show any official images. I will show the previous images of these Pokemon. So if you don't want to see that content, there will be a little spoiler warning somewhere on the screen here so that you are aware and you will have ample time to click away from the video before I go into that kind of content. But I'm first going to talk about the stuff that we know 100% is going to be in the game and has been officially confirmed and if you're new to the channel make sure you are sub for new pokemon videos from me all the time as well as steam deck and nintendo switch stuff but let's talk about this so first up on the list we have the new mega man pokemon that we've known about for a while armor rouge and Sally reg and these two pokemon obviously armor rouge is going to be exclusive to scarlet and Sally reg is going to be exclusive to violet I, their pre-evolution will be in both games and there's likely going to be some sort of item that is going to be required in order for you to move uh, evolve them into each of the different type that's going to be exclusive to that game similar to how applin worked in sword and shield how you got the apple required for flapple in sword and you got the other apple required for appleton in shield something similar to that is likely what's going to be the case for evolving these two pokemon next up stone journer and ice Q are uh, available in each game however storm journer is going to be in scarlet and ice Q is going to be available in violet next orangaroo and Passimian. orangaroo scarlet obviously Passimian and violet stunky gulpin stunk tank and swalot are all in the game so the stunky line is going to be in scarlet and gulpin line is going to be in violet and drift limbs line is available in scarlet with mistrevious and miss magius being available in violet and then we move more into the pseudo legendary stuff and the more interesting stuff in terms of competitive in my opinion uh, Larvitar's line is exclusive to Scarlet, where Bagon's line is going to be exclusive to Violet. So if you like Salamence, make sure you get yourself Violet. Then we move on to Dino and Zuelas and Hydreigon, and then Dreepy, Draglock, and I couldn't remember the second evolution, I won't lie to you, and Dragapult's name. Um, Dragapult is going to be in Violet, whereas Hydreigon is going to be in Scarlet. So if you, depending on which one you prefer, you may want to pick up that version of the game. Finally, Scrope and Dragalge are going to be in Scarlet, and Clauncher and Clauncher are going to be in Violet, with obviously the legendaries Coridon being in Scarlet and Maridon being in Violet. Now, we did get a look at new Donfen. Donfen is going to be in the game. You're going to be able to pick, you know, which one that you're going to want to use. Uh, Great Tusk is going to be the previous version. So the whole gimmick behind these games outside of terrestrialization is that one game is going to feature Pokemon from the past and the other is going to feature Pokemon from the future. Obviously, you can tell this with the differences between the professors to begin with, but then also looking at Coridon and Miraidon, you can see there's very clear differences. Coridon looks like a prehistoric dinosaur, whereas Miraidon looks like a uh, electric scooter, right? So you get to pick which version you want based on what kind of Pokemon you want to experience. So Great Tusk looks like a prehistoric Donphan, a big monstrous mammoth, you know, with a new typing of ground fighting. And then you go into Iron Treads and Violet, which looks like a weird metal contraption of a Donphan <laughs> that is ground and steel typing. And there's going to be more Pokemon included in these. These are referred to as Paradox Pokemon based on the leaks and stuff that we've seen thus far. And these different Pokemon are going to be brought up right now. There are a handful of them outside of the Great Tusk and the Iron Treads that you're going to be able to acquire in these games. And if you are not interested in seeing any of this additional information, be sure to click away right now because we're going to go into these details. These are very specific and very spoiler if you don't want it now's the time to click away if you haven't clicked away by now sorry for your loss you're going to get spoiled so first up obviously like we talked about these are based on the prehistoric versus futuristic stuff violet being the futuristic game where you're going to see a lot of metal infused pokemon and then in uh, Scarlet, you're going to see a lot of the prehistoric, more uh, primal looking Pokemon. Uh, and all of these have their own very unique 
forms and names none of them are referred to like obviously don fan is not called don fan it's called great tusk and iron treads so that is the similar case for all the other pokemon that are going to be shown and again Coridon and miradon tie into this uh it's not confirmed yet i don't know i haven't seen anything personally if this is going to be post game content or if some of this is going to be before you beat the elite four in the story content i'm not sure some of this could be post game some of this could be beforehand uh i again i don't have the games yet so unfortunately i can't provide that information uh but let's talk about which paradox pokemon are exclusive to each game so again we already talked about great tusk and iron treads uh, great tusk being in scarlet and iron treads being in violet next up we have screamtail which is based on jigglypuff that is going to be in uh scarlet whereas we have an iron bundle which is going to be deli bird in violet both of these very cool pokemon uh deli bird is getting the ice water typing and then the jigglypuff screamtail is getting the fairy psychic typing which all of these pokemon from what people that have the game have confirmed is that you cannot evolve them and they have no pre-evolution these are their own unique pokemon or forms of pokemon i'm not sure how they're exactly labeling them yet but these are their own unique things that do not evolve or have evolutions, hence why we're seeing things like um, Jigglypuff not being able to evolve into Wigglytuff, not having an alternate version of the Screamtail Pokemon. Next up for Scarlet, we have the Brute Bonnet, which is an Amoongus variation that is going to be Grass and Dark type. And in Violet, there is an Iron Hands that is a Makuhita that is fighting Electric type. And all of the forms for Violet, worth noting again, they're going to be metal infused, so they have this metallic uh variation to them all of them look really cool i'm not going to say that you know they're all just metal the robot pokemon no they all look really cool and have these very unique styles about them um so don't get too confused and have this like just robot pokemon idea in your head i have seen them officially they all look very nice next up for scarlet there is the flutter main this is a fairy ghost mischievous uh and then there's the iron i think it's jugulus is how they're pronouncing it dark flying hydreigon that is super super cool uh, and then there's two Volcaronas. Volcarona will be available in both games, but there's two different forms. Uh, in Scarlet, it will be a bug fighting type that is known as Slitherwing. And then in Violet, they are going to be called Iron Moth, which is a fire poison typing, which is pretty cool. Next up, there's a Magneton variant that is going to be called Sandy Shocks, which is electric ground. Then we have Iron Thorns and Violet, which is a rock electric Tyranitar, which is super cool typing. I really like the T-Tar design. I'm a big fan of it personally. I'm a big T-Tar fan in general. So I'm really, really liking that design. The final two that are in these games, at least that have been confirmed thus far for the official release. There has been stuff confirmed for DLCs way out in the nether there, but I'm not going to talk about that stuff here. But in terms of what we're going to get at launch, we have roaring moon which is a salamence variant that is dragon dark type and we have iron valiant that is fairy fighting and that is a mix of gardevoir and Gallade in violet and that is a really really cool design i gotta say all of these look fantastic and i'm really excited to see how they work in scarlet and violet and how they'll play into the story i'm kind of personally hoping they're post game stuff for me personally I, I think it'd be really cool if they're post game stuff um I just think, I don't know, for me, I think that'd be a really awesome thing where we go into this like different land in the Paldea region and explore these different variations of Pokemon from different time periods. That just sounds really cool to me in terms of post game. But again, I haven't seen any leaks or anything and I have been paying a lot of attention to leaks. I haven't seen anything that's confirmed or denied when they're going to be available. So that is going to be it for this video and I hope you guys found it entertaining and helpful. Hopefully it helps you make a very clear decision on which version of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet you actually want to pick up for yourself. And if you found the video entertaining helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Like I said, I got a lot more stuff coming in the very near future. Also, be sure to check out Dubby. Dubby is an energy drink. It's my energy drink partner. Zero sugar, zero calories. Very good stuff. Add it to some water. Shake it up. Super good. They got a ton of good flavors and it's 10% off with code Nico. So be sure to pick some up for yourself for your all nighters when Pokemon Scarlet and Violet come out. It's really good stuff and I cannot recommend it enough. And if you want to see more Pokemon stuff from me in the future, be sure to check out this video where I show all the returning Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Everything that we've had in previous games that's coming back is covered in this video. Also, check out this video where I talk about the gimmick, Terrasalization. Is it going to be cool? Is it going to be something that is just not quite right? Here's all my thoughts on that. But that is going to be it. Like I said, thank you again for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.